talk about posture and strumming. So when I teach my students how to play ukulele, they sit on the floor and I tell them that they need to sit crisscross with their backs nice and straight. And we begin by holding the ukulele so that the strings face me and my strings face them. So their strings are facing me and my strings are facing them. And we start by making what I call an ukulele clock, where the head joint is basically facing midnight. And uh, before we begin playing, I explain to the students that when we play ukulele together, we are not going to be mirrors. We are going to be opposite. And what that means is that I play ukulele, and so will they, with the left hand on the neck and the right hand strumming. And I'm sure many of you will find that when your students begin to uh, play the ukulele, they will want to, to look like you, to marry you. So make sure that when you start to teach them how to hold the ukulele, you nip that real quick. That their ukuleles will actually be going to their left, and your ukulele will be going to your left. And you will look um, opposite, but, but in reality, you guys are actually playing the same way. Okay, so we start with our ukuleles at midnight, and they hold them in the middle of their laps, just like this. And then we, we include a little bit of um, time telling into, into ukulele playing. So I tell them to turn their clocks back to 11. And they think a little bit because they'll watch you turn your clock to 11, and they'll want to go the same way, but they'll have to turn it the other way. And then you tell them to turn to 10. And then very slightly turn to 930. So shouldn't be perpendicular to your body, but just slightly above being perpendicular. And this is about where you want to hold the angle in which you want to hold the ukulele. Then what I tell them to do is take the right hand, hold it across the ukulele's body to where it's pressing against your um, mid mid chest. And I tell them to hold it there nice and carefully, take their left hand, wave, hi mom. Take their left hand, wrap it carefully around the neck, and do the same thing with their right hand. Um, the ukuleles are not very heavy, and so the students should be able to eventually just be able to hold them there with their left hand on the cords or, or just around the neck, and they shouldn't have a problem. Um, and so if you notice that your students are, are, are nervous about holding the ukulele that way, encourage them to, to, to feel confident and know that as long as they have a hand on it, it's not going to do anything to it. Uh, also, if you notice that your students start to go flat like this, make sure that the back of their ukulele is pressing up against their body. Okay. So once you have your ukulele in position, the next thing that we do is we learn how to strum. And to do this, I tell my students to take their left hand and turn them into Lego man hands. So just like this, and cradle the ukulele near the neck and the head joint in their left hand Lego man hand. To strum, they will be using their right hand. And um, there's a few different ways to begin strumming. Some people prefer teaching them how to use their thumb first. I personally prefer teaching them how to use their pointer finger. Each way, either way is fine. It's, it's truly up to, to your preference and also the preference or what you find works best for your students. But for the video, I will use my pointer finger. And I tell them to take their pointer finger and point to themselves and say, I love ukulele. And they can't just say it, they have to really convince me that they love ukulele. So they have to point to themselves and they have to say, I love ukulele. And once we do that, then I tell them to take their finger and they're going to brush that like a painter on in front of their face. And they're going to go, I love ukulele. And the pattern there is down, up, down, up, down, up. And what I'm looking for when I have my students do this is I'm making sure that their pointer finger is actually pointing to them. It's not off to the side or down or up, but really pointing to them. And that they're getting the full use of their wrist in this. Your students may want to try to pretend like they have an imaginary pick when they play ukulele. They also um, may try to use the, the front part of the nail or anything like that. And as they practice doing this pattern, I love ukulele. Make sure that you watch for those things. The sooner you can nip it, the, the better off they are in, in the long run. So once they've done that on their face, 
then I tell them that they must gently paint that on their ukulele. Now, many of your students are going to want to play the ukulele over the sound hole. That's normal because that's where you play the guitar, and the guitar is an instrument that they've seen a lot of. Um, however, for the ukulele, the sweet spot, or the spot in which you want to play, is where the neck meets the body. So, right here, and I explain to my students that when I strum the ukulele, I want to make sure that I'm hitting all four strings down and all four strings up. So I let them practice that, and I also tell them that on my finger, the part that's that's touching the strings when I strum, is actually the part, the side of the nail where the nail meets where the nail meets the skin. So it's not, my finger's not hooked in any weird way. It's nice and straight pointing towards my heart and I'm touching the side of my nail on the side of my finger down and up. And I'd have my kids practice that a few times and then, and then we'd get into I love ukulele. And we'd practice that a few times. I love ukulele. And while they're doing that, I'm of course walking around making sure that they can that they can play and strum the proper way. Once they have the basic technique of strums down, that's when we start getting into what we call strum patterns. For this unit, there are three different strum patterns. The first pattern, uh, or strum pattern number one, is basically a down strum pattern where um, I tell my students it's kind of like keeping quarter notes on the instrument. And so it goes down, 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 down. There's no upstroke there. And we do this a few times together, checking again to make sure that they're using good strumming technique. If your students are having a hard time keeping that rhythm, one technique that I often use with some of my classes is to have them um, clap or tap the rhythm on the instrument before we apply it to the strings. So sometimes I'll have them turn the instrument around and we'll just gently knock it. And again, emphasis on gently because they'll want to just knock it right out and we have to remember that the instruments are pretty fragile. And once they have that, then we take it to air strumming. And once they have that, then we take it to the instrument. And so that's strum pattern number one. Strum pattern number two is uh, even eighth notes. And so here's where we go down and then up. So. Again, you can have the students knock it or clap it, air play it, and then put it on the instrument. And the third pattern we have is a long short pattern, which is actually a dotted eighth followed by a sixteenth. And um, the pattern has a long down and a short up. And so sometimes we nickname this pattern the hiccup pattern. Or um, for my first graders, we did a, a, a concert about the Bremington musicians, and this was the donkey pattern because donkeys walk like that. So it goes down, up, down, up. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And once the students have those patterns, you can then um, have them do some pattern practice where they start on pattern number one and they keep going and you say something like, when I say go, you're going to switch to pattern number two. Ready, set, whatever you want. Um, having the students check each other on the strum patterns is a great way for them to not only assess themselves but also to to ensure that they understand what it is that they should be doing on their instruments um, personally and also by watching other other students as well. So those are strum patterns and posture, practice, and go forth.